because we're plastic surgeons, because of social media, my daughters are asking for procedures now. I mean, what advice are you giving uh, Paul about those teenage years and what's been the most difficult thing that you've had to deal with? Run, hide. So <laughs> in, in the teenage years, um, it's, what I tell Paul, it's them, not you, trust mm -hmm. me. Something happens around 14, I don't really get it, but it seems to come out of it around 17. And I just tell them, yes, go, but go talk to mom. That's number one. Number two is because we're plastic surgeons, because of social media, my daughters are asking for procedures now. Really? Before 18, which is not something I've been a fan of, but they're sort of manipulating me into allowing certain things. I still don't allow other things. And it's 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 an interesting time to be raising young girls. Negotiations. Yeah. And what are they asking to get done? So my 17 year old wants lip filler. Mm -hmm. And I had previously been completely against anything like that under the age of 21 or mm -hmm. 18 for sure. Um, but she said to me, well, I'm gonna get my nose pierced if you're not gonna let me do that. I said, ugh. <laughs> I said, I'll make you a deal. If you don't get your nose pierced, I'll let you have a little bit of conservative, what I call judicious mm -hmm. lip filler. She goes, okay. So she gets it. She goes, by the way, I was never gonna get my nose pierced. <laughs> 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 she got you. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. That's amazing. Paul, do you, now that you're in that newborn stage, do you and Brittany want more kids? Um, I'm going to probably say no. <laughs> I think she's happy um, with having one baby. She is an incredible mom, very nurturing to both of us mm -hmm. and of my other children. Mm -hmm. uh, so I have to tell you, that's the point now. However, will things change? You never know. You never know. Are your boys being protective older brothers? So especially, um, you know, the 17 year old going to be 18, of course, is just thinking about getting out of the house now and having fun mm -hmm. because, you know, things are opening back up. But my twins, they just are with the baby, baby Paulina all the time, oh. constantly. And so I can tell my twins will be very protective of her. Yeah. We love her. Terry, how do you deal with uh, your girls dating? Is that uh, tough for you? Uh, you know, it it, you know, it's interesting because my girls have all basically come out. <laughs> <laughs> and so it's like they have girlfriends come over and this is like sort of weird to admit, but when they have girlfriends come over, it's like, well, they're just girlfriends, <laughs> even though they're dating them. So it's not like there are many guys coming over these days. <laughs> so uh, I guess I'm okay with it. Yeah. Uh, How proud of you were of you were you of your daughter when she came out last year? Super proud that she felt comfortable. Mm -hmm. Super proud that she wanted to share her feelings about it. She's got a big podcast called yeah. I'll give it to you straightish. Mm -hmm. It's all about anxieties of being a teenager in the world in which we live now and of coming out. So uh, she's got a really important message and I like the way she's delivering. I think it's helping a lot of people. Oh, definitely. I think it's amazing that she did that.